all clear deal with it. The Blade Master try to keep the uh, undead units away from his expansion, and uh, his expansion doesn't have any towers or anything. And then Orc is gonna sit here and probably wait wait for another. He's gonna stay below fifty fifty. Um, He's going to stay below 50 food and probably mass a lot of wind riders right after the expansion goes up. It's a kind of standard timing, but but uh, this is a little small window of opportunity for that player. He needs to get a probably a couple of meat wagons, maybe one meat wagon, just to um, just to um, you know, put pressure on the siege, uh, put pressure on this uh, expansion. He knows the expansion exists. Let's see, locusts locusts know the expansion exists, so he know. Um, what to do if he doesn't do anything in, within five minutes? He's gonna be overrun by burnt riders and probably spirit walkers, um, and a, a very high level uh, shadow hunter and maybe um, very uh, strong blade master. So there's no way, uh, there's nothing undead can do versus vast wind riders. And I I think Orc made a mistake here. Orc broke broke fifty food and he. He decided to keep. He decided to keep all the grounds. I personally would have uh, killed a uh, kill off a couple grounds because because there are so many banshee on the field. Banshees on the field. Um, Kotal beasts are out. I have no idea what the what those are for. Maybe for devouring abom abominations, which locust hasn't gotten any yet. <laughs> Maybe for the devouring fiends. Um, Kotal beasts devouring fiends. I feel like it's a waste of Kotal beasts. Now I tell you the truth. Anyway, here we go. We're gonna see big battle. And notice I'm not I'm not speeding up to 2x speed anymore since I've gotten so many comments. Uh, raiders uh, and one raider is actually um, uh, 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 possessed. I think Code, one Kotal Beast is possessed, and Kotal uh, Beast devoured a ground. And I think there's another there's another Banshee has uh, no the Banshee doesn't have enough mana, and and this Banshee doesn't have mana either. But the, I think these two Banshees are casting curses on the on that player. And uh, here we go. We're gonna see some fiends' webs online now. Fiends are going to probably wet the wet all the wind riders. Wind riders are going to get focused on by the fiends and the ghouls. Wind riders are going to go down real quick. Wind riders needs to be great in great numbers to be effective. And um, I don't think this is gonna this is the case here. Let's see what's going on. Okay, the yeah, Kotal Beast is getting focused, and uh, I don't think the Kotal Beast is gonna go anywhere. And Kotal Beast is gonna be just micro back and. Uh, um, and Fisk lost his Kotal Beast. The Blade Master tried to focus down the Kotal Beast because the Kotal Beast has a ground inside. And I, at the meantime, I think Fisk lost his entire army. I, and although he's the one broke 50 first, um, Shadow Horns was surrounded for a second. And uh, Blade Master is going. <laughs> I don't know how Blade Master was. Blade Master is going to do. He's not that imbalanced. Coils the. Coils the Banshee. This Banshee has enough mana for possession, and, but he, there's nothing to possess. I don't think he's going to waste a. Possess on the ground because that's kind of a waste of a uh, waste of mana right there. Shadowhunter is very low. Shadowhunter is gonna get killed. That hits uh, DK to level five. Well, I don't think. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to spoil you this for spoil you this, but I don't think the undead player has gotten more than one hero. <laughs> I don't think the undead player got the second hero in this in this um, series. So three game in two two or three games, undead player hasn't gotten any uh, second hero at all. So he's gonna stay with one hero build. Um, over corruption on the DK so the DK can hit air. I think that's the main reason the DK has the over corruption because otherwise, if you want the minus five armor, you might as well get the get the lift to do that for you. And now orc players in the big doo doo. Now he has 41 food. Fist has probably I'm sorry, Locust has probably uh, 49. Okay, mm -hmm. Locust managed to stay below uh, 50 even after possession uh, raid possessing a raider. That raider is going to probably got to okay back away. And there we go. We're gonna see Blade Master had to try to head back to save this expansion. I don't think it's gonna work. This expansion gonna get focused down, and there it goes down the expansion. And I don't know what the hell's going on here. Okay, <laughs> never mind. And more Wind Riders are being queued. This is why this is why you need a mini Great Hall for this build, because you have spare, poison spares and. Uh, and the mini great hall is going to benefit a lot, a lot if you want once you have a map control. And now Undead is going to make a big comeback. He's going to push into Orc base. Orc has 48 food. Undead has 49. But Undead has a hero advantage. Blade Master is only about four, and that's not going to work at all. And looks like there's three more Banshees in the Undead army. So the Mosun uh, Orc is going to drop into below uh, 50. And um, 
and I think, oh, there's a necromancer in the, in the army, I didn't even see that, so some skeleton wars are being summoned, and seeing no uh, spare launch in for Fist, Fist guy had to eat it up by these uh, skeleton warriors because they uh, they cannot be dispelled. There's a five, six wind riders in the in the air. One gold gets killed, but the shadow hunter is gonna focus down right away. Shadow hunter probably gonna get killed. And uh, more skeleton warriors being summoned. Um, these wind riders can probably get picked off one by one here. Uh, coil's too late. Uh, one, uh, I think Banshee, two banshees died, and I think and that player tried to TP to save his units. And oh, that's a lot of curse on the wind riders. And this is why you need spare spare launch with the mass wind rider build versus undead players because you need the dispel. You really really need the dispel for uh, skeleton warriors or um, or curses or even I don't know even uh, um, frost armor. You really need the really need the uh, spare walker. And anyway, we're gonna see Undead player try to regroup, and he's gonna probably mess up. On, oh, b abominations! Okay, so the Undead player, uh, what well, is locust? Seeing no uh, Koto beast on the field, he's gonna get abominations as well as more banshees. And I think he's in great shape in economy because um, he hasn't break 50. Oh, there, there he's above 50 now. Um. Two, three banshees in the in the mix, and Fist is gonna scout in there everything. And I don't know what <laughs> what Blade Master try to do here. Um, <laughs> Blade Master doesn't have a mini Great Hall, and again, and think he's trying to tank the damage. Uh, score of the Beast is uh, pretty good versus for the Wind Riders, but if you have a forty percent miss chance, uh, if you're cursed and you have forty percent miss chance, it's really really hard <laughs> for the for for Orc is a uh, for orc army to uh, to uh, do any damage <laughs> in the big battle, and it looks like Locus is gonna stay home until he masks up a big army, and um, neither player decides to commit. Eh, here we go. <laughs> I, I'm gonna get a lot of comments for <laughs> for Scar for putting the uh, second for putting the replay to X speed. No, oh, actually I was wrong. The Dread Lord is gonna be the second tier of choice. This started to look like uh, one of those one of those random chaos replays where. Where you don't you don't you see the old school strategy being executed. Now it looks like Locus is gonna go after this uh, this uh, red camp. Well, uh, I don't know what the playmaster is doing here. Maybe try to catch any uh, reinforcing units. He's hiding here. If any reinforcing units you know, gonna get picked off by the playmaster, now it's coil. Well done. Um, but the, I think the dread lord is gonna put the uh, playmasters to sleep while creeping the rest. Here comes Kodo Beast. Kodo Beast needs to be focused down, and Abomination needs to be macro away from Kodo Beast. And oh, that was really close. Why well, Kodo Beast is gonna get possessed right here? And there we go. And <coughs> excuse me. A second Kodo Beast has a fiend inside. I don't think you can. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think you can possess any Kodo Beast with a unit inside. Uh, that's just my experience. No, or or if you do it, I, I don't know what happened to the fiend. It is your unit. <laughs> uh, anyway, the wind riders are gonna get taken down one by really really quick because the banshees also do additional damage against wind riders with, with their light armor and and that unit and, and that army. I'm sorry, uh, or uh, Fizz has lost the entire army to this, and the shadow hunter is gonna probably buy try to. I think he tried to buy a TP, but he doesn't have time to go. Or he tried to buy a, a, a potion of healing, a potion, uh, a potion of uh, lesser invulnerability, or a potion of uh, invisibility. Try to um, try to <laughs> uh, try to get away. And here we go. Fitz got 29 food now, and uh, Shadow Hunter is as good as dead. Beast Blade Master has got had to probably <laughs> yeah, Blade Master has to defend against all that by himself. So he GG. Hope you guys enjoy the game and uh, um, just remember getting. Getting if you got kind of a mass wind rider versus undead, you get an, you need a mini great hall and you need a spare walk, spare launch. You need the spare walkers to dispel. So uh, hope you guys enjoy the game and uh, see you guys in game two on Twisted Metals. Stay tuned.